It's the big race here at Ferry House. It's the Hatton's Grace Hurdle, Grade 1. Over two mile in four furlong. Fascinating race in store here. So many of the big, big hitting hurdle horses here for this massive prize at Ferry House. Just taking a while as the runner's going down to post to get the race card up here for you. We've got Angel or Demon, Joshua Sutherland, Forrest Ting, and Ingleby Fandango for Davy Lad, Lixnor, Darren Thompson, Stop Messing Around, Leon Van Rensburg, Bare Necessities for Ryan Tamasebi, Blossom Tree for Jim Murray, Elevation for Leon Van Rensburg, it's quite something when his two runners are both 100 to 1 shots, Enchanted Spirit for Craig Allen, Grinder for Craig Beckwith, House of the Wolf, Joshua Sutherland, Lavender Blue for David Hooley, Our Connie for Ryan Tamasebi, the 3 to 1 favourite, Popular Class for David Hooley, Raffaella Milet looks a big price there for Craig Allen, 11 to 2, Sunday Motts, Thomas Rogers, Waiting on You, Martin Leadham, and the final of the 18 runners making their way to post is Zep Novell. And they are off and running. Zep Novell is for Jim Murray. And that one's uh, started at the rear of the field. But as the tape's gone up, it's our Connie, Group 1 winner on Week 1. Followed it up uh, with a, se a second place when carrying top weight in a Group 3 on Week 2. A reappears here for the Hatton's Grace Hurdle. And what can she do off level weights here? And is going to make the running as nothing else seems to want to take up that mantle of front runner. And looking for a David Hooley runner that often does that. And there she is, Lavender Blue, moves up to now take the lead running towards the centre of the track. But it's not a, a very quick pace being set here in the Hatton's Grace. And it means it could turn into a, something somewhat of a tactical affair here. But one flight of hurdles jumped so far and as they start to turn right-handed here with dark skies up above looking towards the rear of the field we've got Raffaella Milet and Enchanted Spirit and already quite detached at the rear of the field and perhaps outclassed in a lineup like this is Sunday Motts as they come to the next flight of hurdles Lavender Blue gets over it R. Connie in second Angel or Demon on the outside of that one Elevation heads up a chasing pack uh, for Leon Van Rensburg with House of the Wolf Blossom Tree and Zep Novell. the two Jim Murray runners are on the outside of that one Ben Necessities also racing towards the centre of the track as we're getting that bird's eye view of them all going over the next flight of hurdles and some really slick jumping as they start to come past the packed stands and what will be the winning post in a circuit's time here at Fairy House. This big Hatton's Grace hurdle. It's going to be interesting to see this. This is a, a, a field that are going to face off against each other many times throughout this season, you feel, with the likes of the Aintree hurdle, the David Nicholson hurdle at Cheltenham for those mares. A oh, bad mistake there from Elevation, and that's relegated that one back towards the middle of the pack just as it was starting to make a move forward. You could Yes, the, a lot of these horses are going to face off against each other many times in lots of the feature races we've got to look forward to over the remainder of the season. But Lavender Blue continues to set the pace out in front and set a pretty good pace now, increasing the pace surely. And I, if anything, the pace has dropped off ever so slightly and it's going to turn into a really tactical affair, this one. There's no doubt about that. But Lavender Blue like she has done in each of her races so far, is just going to set that pace from the front and make sure that she's the one that can make that sprint for home first. We'll just be looking to tidy up the hurdling, which has been questionable at different stages over the first few appearances for that horse. Angel or Demon has moved over to be uh, hugging the rail now. That one, one of the two Joshua Sutherland runners, and uh, is racing just a length and a half to two lengths ahead of the other runner there, House of the Wolf, R. Connie, that was racing up alongside Lavender Blue, is just heading up a chase impact alongside Forrest Ting as they come over the next flight of hurdles. Our Connie wasn't particularly quick over that one, the favourite. And Bear Necessities, the other runner from the same stable, the black horse racing wider on the outside. And you can see there as the camera angle pan back that Sunday Motts is a distance behind these runners and just isn't uh, up to the standard required to be racing alongside some of these. So we're into the final six and a half furlongs. They've gone over seven flights, have a few left to jump, and it's Lavender Blue that still has the lead as they come over the next. Angel or Demon, our Connie, stop messing around bare necessities are all there i'm having a look for Raffaella milet that is finished first second and first again on its three runs today is just being pushed along towards the rear of the field and will need to respond for craig allen but enchanted spirit is currently the one that's going the better of his two runners at the moment look at it in the green and gold hoops just racing in and behind a couple of leaders and traveling very powerfully our connie's still traveling really well on the outside jockey now getting to work on angel or demon as we're coming to
towards the four furlong marker. Lavender Blue jumps it ahead of our Connie on the outside. Stop messing around, trying to get involved. Enchanted Spirit Jockey still motionless on that one in behind the leader. And Raffaella Milet has suddenly started to burst through the pack and is now in the front four as they come round the right hand bend here and start to come towards the home straight. It's our Connie. One of Leon Van Rensburg's outsiders, 100 to 1 outsider, stop messing around, laying down a challenge to it on the outside. But we're in the final, final two. Oh, Connie's clattered through it. Went about to shoot into the lead, and that means that a lot of fancied horses have passed it now. Stop messing around. Raffaella Myla, Enchanted Spirit, Zep Novell. Our Connie trying to get going again through the pack as we've got less than a furlong to travel in the final flight. And oh, our Connie made another mistake, and it's Ben. Necessities that line that come down for the, that runner on the outside, and Raffaella Myla up the inside. Oh, as they come to the post. Stop messing around. Might have got there at a big price for Leon Van Rensburg. Enchanted spirit that was travelling so so powerfully for Craig Allen then burst up again through the rail And enchanted spirit has won it enchanted spirit has won it for Craig Allen stop messing around almost sprung a huge surprise At a big price for Leon van Rensburg. It's not often you can get a hundred to one on one of his runners popular class comes third for David Hooley Forrest Ting Fourth for Davy Ladd, and then fifth was Spare Necessities for Ryan Tamasebi. The favourite, short price favourite, Arconi, put in two terrible mistakes at the last two flights that put paid to that one's chances. But a good winner there for Craig Allen. Enchanted Spirit takes the Hatton's Grace.